A simple script with auto hotkey is keeping a key held down. I think I've come up with an interesting take on this problem that works for any key in the keyboard, but first I'm going to show you how most people solve this problem with, with just one key. You could accomplish this with just two lines, an F1 hotkey trigger, and then a send uh, a down command. A keystroke is actually made up of two different components, down and up. When the down event is triggered, the computer says, all right, it's down. And then when you release the key, it says, all right, I'm released. With this script, when I tap the F1 key, it only sends the down portion of the A key, tricking the computer into thinking you are continuously holding down that key. It's kind of like half of an A press. The way you stop the key from being held down is by tapping the A key again, triggering the up event. Let's go ahead and run the script. I want to demonstrate this with Minecraft, a game I've featured before on this channel. You can see that when I press the A key, I move left. This is absolutely normal behavior. You should understand how this works. But when I hit the F1 key, I keep moving left even though I've left my hands off the keyboard, indicating that A has been held down. I hit A again to stop the movement. That's great and all, but using this method, you'd have to create a different hotkey for each key in the keyboard to accomplish my original goal. I wanted every single key without thinking about it, I would be able to do it. My idea was to have a trigger key where when I pressed it, the next key that I pressed would be the one that was held down. So the first piece of this puzzle is this get key state function. With it, we can programmatically detect the state of a key. And we're going to use this to be detecting the state of our trigger key. Let's set that up in a new script. So I'm going to delete what we had before and then say if get key state of F1. And then we're going to say pressed. And then close the if statement. So what this is going to do is say, if the F1 key is pressed, we're going to activate the hotkeys inside of this if statement. This is actually called a context sensitive hotkey. Actually super useful even outside of this context. Um, you can do all kinds of expressions to make hotkeys only active at certain times. But for today, this is gonna work just fine. Next, we recreate the down command from earlier. So with A, send a down note that the a hotkey would only be triggered when f1 is pressed down there's another piece of this puzzle i haven't mentioned yet we actually need to put a dollar sign here the dollar sign is useful when you are using a hotkey to trigger itself as you're pressing the a key and the script sends the down key when you release the a key it's going to send the up event thereby negating the entire purpose of this script since the key will not be held down after you've released the A key. However, with the dollar sign, it forces a uh, lower level keyboard hook so that uh, up A press won't be triggered. Back in the script, we're already done, so let's go ahead and run it. Back in Minecraft, I press A and when I release it, it works like normal. Great, now I hold down F1 and tap A. All right, uh, I forgot that when I hit F1, it gets rid of the hot bar, but it looks like it worked great. I kept moving even after release day. So looks like the script works. I'll let you watch my VS Code magic as I set up this hotkey for every key on the keyboard. If you want the script, you can download it from my GitLab repository in the description. If you like this video and want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya.